Hey everyone, welcome back. We are doing Helm Knight 380 Needle for Hasbro's Beyblade X. This is, as of now, the for Wave 1, the last starter pack. Um, you know, you get the launcher and the Beyblade. It's a good way to get started into Beyblade X. So, let's get right into it. So we have Helm Knight 380 and Needle. It is a right spin defense type. And yeah, let's open her up. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Open it up. Here's our parts. Try to get that launcher out real quick. There's our launcher and our rip cord. Try to fix this camera angle here real quick. There we go. All right, and then let's get our blade out. There we go, our blade. And then our parts. There's our needle bit. Here's our ratchet. I don't know what is up with my camera angle this time, but it is out of whack. It is 100% out of whack. All right, so with this release, we are almost done with wave one. The only thing I have left to collect for wave one is the transformers. And once when I have the Transformers, Wave 1 is done. I'm not really counting the Bucket Stadium um, for Wave 1. I will still probably pick that up, but it's not really going to be considered in the actual main collection of X. So as of now, we are four bays away from Wave 1 being collected. All right. So Helm Knight 380 Needle. All right. We have our Helm Knight. This is very nice. Our QR code. And then we have our 380 Ratchet. We've seen this one already on our Keel Shark. All right. And then our Needle. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and put it together. And there is our Helm Knight. Let's go ahead and weigh it real quick. Okay, that scale is zeroed out. Helm Knight, 41.3 grams. It is slightly heavier than Arrow Wizard. All right, so with that being said, let's get into the test spin and not only that, but get into the battle section of this video. All right, you guys know the drill. We got our base stadium right here. And then let me get this all sorted out so then that way we're not having a bunch of movement with the stadium. And then we'll get ready to get the rest of this video underway. All right, let me zoom out. And there we go. All right, Helm Knight. Three, two, one. Give it a little bit of a bump. Trying to see if I can, yeah. So yeah, that's Helm Knight in a nutshell. Let's get things started off with our red Dronzer. Three, two, one. And then we'll do the same thing like we did last time, the best out of the round, two rounds. All right, round one goes to Helm Knight. Round two. Round two goes to Helm Knight. All right, I'm gonna tweak this up just ever so slightly so then that way we're not getting so much movement towards the front. Next is our green Dronzer. We got a win against the red one finally, so maybe we'll get a win against the green one. All 
All right, round one goes to Helm Knight. Three, two, one. And round two goes to Dronzer. That was actually pretty good on Dronzer's part, forcing it to the outer pocket. All right, a loss to green Dronzer. All right, now we got sword drawn. Sword drawn, taking a loss. Three, two, one. Can Helm Knight hold on? And it does. A win against our standard sword drawn. All right. Now then, it's our red version. Ever so slightly move that back. This red version came out swinging. And Helm Knight in the first round. Very nice. All right, round two. Woo! All right. Sword drawn, getting a three point finish. Very nice. A well, last against sword drawn. Now it's dagger drawn. Three, two, one. Can dagger drawn win? And it does. Very nice. All right, round two. Three. Three, two, one. to helm and it does stamina finish all right tiebreaker round three two one oh. helm knight winning against dagger drawn very nice all right scythe and siendo and helm a little bit lot more stamina but not by much all right three two one Helm, again. All right, Scythe loses. We are down to Tusk Mammoth. Three, two, one. Helm. Let's go one more time. Three, two, one. Tusk. Very nice. I launched that one so it was more stamina for Tusk. Three, two, one. Chain, three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. Chain gets a little too excited and throws itself out of the stadium after a little bit of contact. Three points to Helm. Arrow Wizard, three, two, one. Arrow Wizard, very nice. 
Three, two, one. Helm. Three, two, one. And we get a burst with Helm. Very nice. Helm getting three points. Very nice. Our first burst of the video. And Helm's just sitting there standing still. All right, now it's the Green Wizard Arrow with Needle. So who has the better use of Needle? We'll be with Arrow Wizard or Helm. Helm for the first round. Round two. Ooh. And Arrow Wizard gets burst. Very nice. Very nice. Both wizard both arrow wizards get burst. That's funny. Back to back. Just annihilation. You can't get any better than that. Alright. Yeah, Helm is doing pretty good so far. We are down to Kill Shark in its stock format. Three, two, one. Oh, simultaneous breakout finish. No points. That is cool. That's the first time that's actually ever happened. Three, two, one. And our boy Shark gets two points. Three, two, one. Oh, and Helm throws Shark into the mix. We are tied again. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, and Helm with the counter attack, throwing Shark into the pocket. Very nice. All right, now it's our green Shark. Three, two, one. And Helm getting a first round score. Three, two, one. And a second round score. Now it's Rhino Horn or Horn Rhino. Three, two, one. Yeah, my boy Horn Rhino coming out swinging. Throwing Helm into that pocket. Let it rip. I love the pendulum. Oh, Horn Rhino getting that acceleration. Come on, Horn Rhino. Rhino Horn. Yeah, my boy Rhino Horn taking a victory lap. There we go. All right, now it's Knife Shinobi. Three, two, one. Now, because Knife Shinobi's on high needle, I don't think it's going to do too well. Yeah. All right. Helm, one point. Oh, save the bait blades. And we get a burst. Very nice. All right. Moving on, we have Tail Viper. Three, two, one. I swear, man, Helm is doing pretty good. Only three losses so far. This might be four. This might be number four. Tell Viper, stamina finish. Well, it was a mid-air burst collision, but because Helm did not make it into the stadium, um, yeah, we are redoing that match. So, a rebuttal. So, so far, Tail Viper, one point. Yeah, there we go. 
Well, this is going to be another Tail Viper. I can already tell the helm's not going to be able to recover. And Tail Viper. All right. Now we have Talentera. Three, two, one. Oh! Talentera getting a burst? No way. That is sick. Talentera getting the burst instead of getting bursted. Yes. That is what we want to see. All right. Three, two, one. And Helm taking a loss to Talentera. Now it's our last Bay Steel Samurai. Can Helm come back because we're sitting at five losses? Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, there was contact right at the start. So Helm gets that two points. All right, round two. Oh, oh. Heavy hits, heavy hits, that's what we want to see. And Helm getting three points against our boy Steel Samurai. Very nice. So yeah, um, five losses, you guys. There's that, there's that row, and there's that row. Five losses. That's that's honestly pretty good. Um, we all know who follow Beyblade X, Night Shield or Helm Knight, whatever you want to call it, is a good lair. Like it is probably one of the most versatile lairs, due to the fact that if you do something like this or use High Needle or to where you can make it off balance because of this extra weight right here with the layer. It basically keeps it protected from the bottom layer. The bottom of the, uh, keeps the ratchet protected. So then that way you're not getting bottom contact. Um, so yeah, definitely pick up Helm Knight. It is great to have in your arsenal. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, the best thing you'll wanna do is like, throw it on like paper with a really low height ratchet. So. As of right now, like if you want a color match, you would do the green 480, uh, 480 from um, Arrow Wizard with the green taper from um, Dronzer, or you could even do the green flat from Shark Edge, and those would be two optimal combos for you. Or you could just leave it stock as well. I know a lot of people cringe at hearing saying leave it stock, but honestly, this build right here is pretty good. Um, so yeah, definitely definitely pick up Helm Knight for your collection, for your set. It's definitely worth picking up, you know. Um, like I said in my last video, just try and pick up what you can through Hasbro. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, why would I do that? Well, Hasbro's inexpensive for one, and for two, you get a lot better than what you paid for with Burst. So you're not really missing out on quality. Um, yeah, you do get the crappy little light launcher with every starter set, but that's fine. Like you can always go on Amazon or if you have the good launcher at your store or you buy Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Wing, you know, you can get the string launcher. I would just opt in for getting the string launcher. You get more control on your launches rather than power. Um, now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, that's kind of lame. Why would you say that? Because the more control you have over where you want your bay to land has more strategy than just full force sending it into the stadium. Um, because as we've seen, when you full force send it, it's just going to skip right here and throw itself into that into the extreme pocket. So like I said, definitely pick up this Beyblade for your collection. Um, you won't be disappointed. And as always, you guys, please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, three, two, one, let it rip. Have a great day, everyone.